Austin, and I operate RG8 Tech Support here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to download a program called Zoom. Starting out, what we'll do is go to our default internet browser. That can be anything as Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. Once you select your internet browser, we're going to navigate to Zoom. You can do that by typing in Zoom on Google or typing in zoom.us. Once you select the web page, in the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see resources. If you hover over that, there is a download Zoom client option. Selecting this brings us to a screen. What we're looking for is Zoom client for meetings. There's a big blue button. I'm gonna ask you to click on that. This will take a few moments to download based off of your internet. Once it has successfully downloaded, you will be asked sometimes if if you approve the operation of this program. If it asks for a password, this is the password for your computer. Moving along, uh, there are a few terms and agreements that we have to accept. It will ask where we want to install, for all users or just for the single user. And we'll select install. Now, the Zoom program is successfully installed on your computer. You have two options here. The first option is we can just join a meeting. If you are going to be joining a class or connecting to a relative one time, you can just jump straight into the meeting. To do this, we're going to launch the program, Zoom, select join a meeting. The meeting ID or personal link name is what you would input here. If the meeting is sent to you from an email, you can just click the meeting link and it will pre-populate all this information. The next blank is going to ask for your name. Um, it's going to ask if it wants, if you want it to remember your name for future meetings, um, to connect your audio or not to connect your audio and additionally to turn off my video. So the, the second two options, the connect my audio, if this is an, a situation where you're gonna be connecting to an individual and communicating, I would enable or check audio. The second option, turn off my video, if this is just something that you're gonna be viewing, such as a class, you do not need to have your video on. Both these settings you can enable or disable at a later date as well. Once you have your meeting ID typed in, you would go ahead and hit join. Now the second option would be to sign in. Now we cannot sign in if we do not have an account. So to create an account, we would do the following. Go ahead and select sign up for free. Keep in mind, this is a free service. It's going to redirect us to a web page, a Zoom web page. It's going to ask for a few bits of information. Once we type in our email, Zoom will then send us a verification email. This is done to prove that we are who we say we are. So I'm going to go from Zoom and I'm going to log into my email address. There we will find an email from Zoom. And keep in mind, this may take a few minutes to show up. Once you find the email from Zoom, um, there will be an option to activate account. That's what we want to click on. It says, welcome to Zoom. So I'm gonna give it just a bit more information about myself. Now it's asking for a password. Password has to be at least eight characters, one letter, um, at least one number, and include both both an upper uppercase and a lowercase character. Now it's time for the final step, signing in. 
So what we're gonna do is sign in. We're gonna type in the account information that we just set up. Upon login, you're gonna be greeted with these four options. A new meeting, join, schedule, and share screen. A new meeting is exactly what that sounds like. If you wanted to set up an appointment with another friend um, where you could see them, they could see you, you would select new meeting and set up criteria for that meeting below. Join is for a preset meeting. So if you are, for example, attending a class, you would select join. Other options are schedule and share screen. Share screen is a, a form of Zoom where rather than seeing the other individual, you're seeing the screen instead. Um, final is uh, schedule, and that is if you wanted to establish an, a, meeting, a meeting out in time um, and send an invitation for that meeting. I sure appreciate you spending a few minutes understanding how Zoom works. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Otherwise, if you have any technical problems, don't be afraid to reach out to RGA Tech Support. Thanks.